In this tutorial, I'll show you how to automate image generation using FAL.AI inside N8N, combining the FIBO and Topaz upscale models. FIBO is one of the latest image generation models from FAL.AI, designed to produce realistic, consistent images with detailed control over lighting, composition, and mood. You can also use any other image model available on FAL.AI, depending on your creative goals. After generating the image, we'll enhance it automatically with Topaz Upscale, a high-fidelity model that sharpens textures and increases resolution for professional results. Each generation request costs around $0.04 cents per image, while upscaling costs $0.25 cents per megapixel. With this automation, you can create bulk image sets ready for sale, whether on Etsy, eBay, Shopify, or your own website. All you need are a few simple prompts. FIBO will generate high-quality, production-ready images and even return an advanced prompt that you can reuse later to refine or expand your creative collections. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete workflow that generates, enhances, and prepares images for online publishing, all fully automated inside N8N. You can download both the complete N8N automation and the Airtable base directly from my school community, just go to Automation Tribe. It's the first link in the description. Once you open the Airtable base, you'll see a very simple structure. In the first column, called Prompt, you can add short text descriptions. For example, Red Tesla Roadster on a white background, or 3D render of a bold Black Friday shopping bag. Each row represents one image generation task. You can create 10, 50, or even hundreds of prompts at once, and the automation will handle all of them automatically. Next, we have the Aspect Ratio column, where you can specify the image format, such as 1 to 1, 4 to 3, 9 to 16, or 16 to 9. This value is passed directly into FIBO's API, so every generated image respects the format you define here. Then we have Seed, Steps, and Guidance Scale. These are advanced generation parameters that control the consistency, detail, and strength of FIBO's output. If you want your images to be reproducible, keep the same seed value. If you want more variety, simply change it. After that, you'll see the Upscale Factor column. This tells Topaz Upscale how much to enlarge your image. For example, setting the factor to 4 will create a much higher resolution version with improved sharpness and clarity. Finally, the image result and upscaled image columns are automatically filled by the automation. They display both the original image from FIBO and the enhanced version from Topaz Upscale. Below that, you'll also find text fields like short description, description, background prompt, and context. These are automatically generated by FIBO and can be reused for metadata, listings, or SEO. This way, everything you need from prompt to final image, including descriptions, is stored directly inside Airtable, ready to upload to Etsy, Shopify, or any other platform. Let's go over the Airtable fields very quickly. Prompt, this is a single line text field where you write your image idea. Status, a single select field showing if each image is done or pending. Aspect ratio, seed steps, and guidance scale. These are number or text fields used to control the image generation parameters for FIBO. Upscale factor, another number field that defines how much Topaz upscale should enlarge the image. Image result, an upscaled image. Both are attachment fields, where the automation uploads the generated and upscaled images. Short description, description, background prompt, and context. These are long text fields automatically filled with metadata from the FIBO response. Perfect for reuse in your Etsy or Shopify listings. So everything here is very simple, a mix of text, numbers, and attachments, fully compatible with N8N. Now let's go through the automation step by step. You can download the complete workflow and the Airtable base inside my school community. It's the first link in the description. We start with a simple manual trigger, so you can launch the automation whenever you want to process new image prompts from Airtable. Right after that, I've added a node where I store my FL.AI API key. This makes it easy to use the same key across all the next steps without exposing it or repeating it manually. 
Next, the workflow connects to Airtable and retrieves all records that are not marked as done. Make sure you set the filter correctly because this part is important. Only the prompts that still need to be generated will be processed. After the records are found, the next step sends each one to FIBO, the image generation model, from FAL.AI. This is where the automation reads the prompt, the aspect ratio, the seed, and the guidance values from Airtable, and generates the image automatically. Each generation request costs around four cents per image. Then we wait about 30 seconds to make sure the image is ready before we continue. The next node retrieves the generated image and also all the structured details returned by FIBO, things like the short description, the background, and the context. These are added automatically and can later be used for titles, SEO descriptions, or product listings. After that, the image goes through Topaz Upscale, also on FAL.AI. This step enhances sharpness, texture, and overall quality, creating a high-resolution version ready for professional use each upscale request costs about two and a half cents per megapixel. Since the upscale process takes a bit longer, the workflow waits for about a minute and a half and then retrieves the final high resolution image. Finally, everything is written back to Airtable. The status of each record changes to done. Both the original and the upscaled image are attached and all the generated text fields like short description, background prompt and context are filled automatically. Once the automation finishes, every row in Airtable contains the entire result, the prompt, both images, and all the metadata, ready for export or upload. This gives you a fully automated system that creates, enhances, and organizes bulk image sets directly from Airtable with no manual steps required. Now, let me show you a few examples of the results. I'll click on each image so you can see them better. Here's the first one, the red Tesla Roadster on a white background. It looks clean, detailed, and perfectly rendered, exactly as described in the prompt. Next is the white Tesla Roadster. Same workflow, different prompt. The lighting and reflections are consistent, giving a professional studio look. Here's the image with the model. You'll notice a small mistake on the shoes, but overall, the details, lighting, and skin tone are excellent for a fully automated generation. And finally, the black shopping bag with the glowing sale tag. A perfect example for e-commerce or Black Friday visuals, sharp, minimal, and ready to use. All these images were generated automatically, enhanced, and saved in Airtable from simple text prompts in just a few minutes. And that's it for this tutorial. You've just seen how to automate image generation and upscaling using FAL.AI and N8N, with every result stored and organized automatically inside Airtable. If you want to download this complete workflow and the Airtable base, you'll find them inside my school community. It's the first link in the description. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. It really helps the channel grow and reach more creators who want to automate their work. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, covering AI, automation, and creative business tools. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.